Welcome to a Besto TV production. If you enjoy our content, please click the subscribe button. To get notifications of new releases, ring that bell. Thank you, and away we go. I am the Lord Humongous, and I will be gravely disappointed if you do not follow me to Besto TV. Creative continuity. We bring the convention to you. This is Mr. Lobo at the Great Philadelphia Comic Con for creative continuity, and I'm here with the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla himself, the great Lord Humongous. Thanks for having me, Mr. Lobo. The pleasure. It, it, the pleasure is all ours, and you are, you are, are you ruling us all today here from your, from your outpost? I would like to think so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, obviously, you know, the whole world has fallen apart, and I, you know, and I knew, you know, what, once, once I knew that the whole world was going to just, uh, you know, go out with a whimper, I thought, okay, I got to get my assless chaps, I got to get my fetish gear, my sporting goods, right? Isn't that those the first supplies you have to get together in an apocalypse? Yeah, obviously having your butt out there is going to really help when the whole world goes to shit. And this s and gear, you know, this helps protect you from the harmful UV rays once that ozone layer fails. So we, we've got this all figured out ahead of time, don't worry. Excellent, excellent. Uh, now uh, you you are Lord Humongous here at the Great Philadelphia Com Comic Con, but you're here you're you're Lord Humongous all over the world at all sorts of places. We've got humongous everywhere. <laughs> it's getting humongous out there. I, we, I got mongus all over me. What, uh, what is this? There's a humongous among us. Yes. Uh, tell us about uh, uh, Wasteland Weekend and and the whole the whole Mad Max fandom because I think a lot of people don't realize how how huge that cult of Mad Max fans really is. I didn't realize how big it was. I thought I was the only maniac that was into all this crazy stuff. Wasteland Weekend officially began in 2010. That was the first year I attended. And for once, I felt like I was where I belonged. I had come home. These were my people. They were into all this stuff. This was their life, just like it is mine. I've been back year after year after year. I'm now like the cult leader of the, the place. I hand out the Kool-Aid to everybody, for Christ's sake. Well, you are Lord Humongous, after <laughs> well, all. Well, thank you. And it is now, it's grown to over 3,000 people have attended, wow. thanks to uh, Fury Road. That's incredible. But I equate it to going to the Renaissance Festival, except it's set in this, like, this really shitty future, instead of this like really you know pleasant past. And it's a lot nerdier. No, I'm scared. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you do have to be in costume to walk through the gate. That is a requirement. <laughs> but it is the most fun you will ever have without breaking the law. It is a blast. I got heat stroke and food poisoning, and I'd still go back because <laughs> I had a blast. You got off easy. Wow. <laughs> Uh, you know, it is amazing because I think post-apocalypse uh, post apocalypse films are a rich genre. Yes. There's a lot of material. If you're into post-apocalypse, there's a lot of movies out there for you. And what's they're not not a lot of really good ones. <laughs> but that's part of the fun. <laughs> Thanks, I think. Italy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Italy apologizes <laughs> yeah. for Warriors of the Wasteland. Yeah, yeah. Escape 2000, yes, yes. whatever. Yep. Uh, so, no, tell, but you know, uh, uh, tell us also too. I guess. I mean, are you a movie fan? I mean, you like movies in general? I do like movies in general. I have a very nice home theater system at home. I actually got it finished just in time for the release of the Mad Max video game. That was my cue. Isn't uh, it great? I love it. Yeah. So so immersive. Yeah. But yeah, movies in general. I grew up watching Star Wars. I like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. All you know. Yeah, if, if it's epic and on a big screen, I'm totally down for it. And Road Warrior is like the gold standard. There are there are very few movies of any genre really that are that good. Indeed. Uh, we, we all got kind of, got spoiled by Road Warrior, I think. I got hooked on the Road Warrior thanks to my dad buying me an issue of Starlog Magazine when I was 11 years old. It had a preview of Revenge of the Jedi in there. And I went flipping through, and there, there was Conan the Barbarian, there was Blade Runner, there was Megaforce. Howard Force. the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> and there were pictures for the Road Warrior. Now, I never read the article, yeah. but I looked at these pictures, and as an 11-year-old little kid, I'm like, oh, my God, what is this? This is so freaking cool. I've been hooked ever since. Uh, you know, I'm right there with you. You know, I think... Uh, I see. I can tell by what you're wearing. Yes, you're a, a huge fan. This yes, is my indeed. apocalypse gear right here. Is there, is, the hazard yes, time. my hazard tape here. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think that, uh, like I said, there are a lot of people out there who love these kind of movies, uh, and you're going to have a documentary film about yourself. Could Indeed. you talk a little bit on that? Yeah, well, I was at Eternal Con in Long Island last June. We were doing some promotional stuff with uh, Good Day New York. Uh, we were with Rosanna Scotto. She was hitting on me. It was pretty cool. I want to go talk to the naked guys. Like, easy, Rosanna. But uh, Verizon Fios sent out a photojournalist to interview some of his cosplayers. 
and uh, the, the, the woman that came out, Faye Merman, she interviewed me and quickly realized that there was more than just S&M gear and hockey mask. Uh, you know, we, we talked about the family cosplay that I do, the, the weddings and the DJing and the stuff I do all around the world. You do DJ. Character. I want to see you DJ. Uh, yeah, it's humongous. coming. It's okay. DJ humongous. It, it's a thing. So uh, she said, let, let me come to your house one weekend. I'll interview your wife and your kids. We'll interview you. We'll do a five-minute little documentary. I am gravely disappointed. Again, you have made me unleash my dogs of war. Sin. Look around you. This is the Valley of Death. I am the Lord of the Wasteland. Everything that exists here is mine. So what started out as a possible five minute documentary has turned into now over a year and a half of filming wow. all over the world to a 90 minute, 120 minute documentary. I don't even know how long this thing's gonna be with thousands of hours of footage on this thing. But it's, uh, I don't think she realized just how deep my rabbit hole goes. So here we are, yes, promoting with trading cards, humongous, a documentary, a film by Faye Merman. I better mention that or I'll be in trouble. By day, he's Jim the Pool Guy. By night, he's Lord of the Wasteland. <laughs> that, that sounds like pretty compelling stuff. Yeah, and, that doesn't grab you right there. I don't know uh, what will. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we can't wait for the documentary. And uh, and I know you're a fascinating guy. You've had many careers. Uh, and you worked with the Misfits. Could you just Thir talk on that real years. quick? I started out as a Misfits fan. I got this tattoo when I was 17. I'm 45 now. Me too. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, so yeah, long time fan. In 95, I went and auditioned to be their new singer. Obviously, my voice does not sound like Glenn Danzig's. Or Michael so Graves. Or something like that. <laughs> I'm the guy who gave Michael Graves his name. Oh, I'm wonderful. not kidding. We were at rehearsal one day, and Mike Emanuel is singing, and we're talking about the stage name that he needs. Yeah. He, says, he needs a cool name that's spooky, but yet real. Yeah. Like, like, I don't know, like Graves. And Mike turns to me and says, I'm going to be Michael Graves. That's, That's my fantastic. 15 minutes of fame right there, you know, folks. This doesn't give me any cool cred, but I'm not cool anyway. <laughs> but I actually like the Michael Graves mystery. Oh, so do I. I, yeah. I, I love working yeah, with him. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're gonna, we'll be seeing you at the Wasteland, Lord yes. Among Us. Yes. Uh, this is Mr. Lobo signing off for Creative Continuity. Watch Creative Continuity, Cartoons, Con Rewind, Mr. Lobo does, and more on this channel. Creative Continuity, we bring the convention to you.